Hey everybody, Dr. Giggles here from the Hauntapalooza podcast, and in this video, we're going to be talking about a haunt review for Evidence of Evil. It's over like near Bristol, Connecticut. It's like five minutes down the road from Lake Compounds. Uh, it's located like a, at a bowling alley, FEC type of place. Uh, they occupy the back, and let me tell you, uh, it's like a 15, 20 minute experience. It really kind of reminded me of like a mini uh, fear town in a sense. And the reason why, and I, and I don't knock it that way. Uh, what I will say about it is this. You go into a room, you're given all the do's, the don'ts, uh, and the guy. once the guy just gives a spiel, then it's, it's balls to the walls from there to the end. You start out by getting uh, a gas mask that's blacked out. You have to walk single file holding onto the shoulder for the person in front of you. And while you're walking, there's people with chainsaws and people messing with you. And then you get to the spot. Uh, and inside, they make you do things. You know, I saw a woman get have a pig mask put on and get pet. And there's all different kinds. I don't want to, like, give everything away because you guys need to experience it for yourself. It's pretty cool uh, what they did. Uh, I enjoyed myself. Uh, I definitely recommend uh, Evidence of Evil. They said it, if I want, if I heard correctly, it's like their third year there. I think third or fourth, and they they planning on being back in that spot again um, next year. Uh, the cool, also the other cool thing is, uh, it's all uh, volunteer. They just put enough money into the haunt to take money, and the rest goes to St. Jude's. Uh, and the, you know, most of the money gets uh, donated to St. Jude's to help them out as a donation. So that's really cool. <coughs> Actors did a great job. It was definitely like theatrical. It was, you know, the thing that I like that people are doing now is people are getting more immersive in their haunts. And you have to. You can't be like an, like the old school traditional boo and, and all that. You really got to stop bringing the people uh, into the environment. You got to make them feel like they're in it. They're in trouble. They're whatever. They're part of the haunt. You can't just have them just walking through. And those days are gone. You can't. If you're going to continue to do that, then you should just close your haunt because if you're wondering why people aren't going to your haunt anymore uh it's probably because you're not immersive enough or you're not promoting it enough if you are immersive enough uh one promotion is key two uh get your get bloggers and vloggers and fan sites and stuff involved that helps you out tremendously and uh, again become more immersive you don't have to yell scream swear beat people up but Get people immersed in your environment. That's key. And Evidence of Evil did that. My only complaint <coughs> is I wish it was longer. That's the only complaint that I have. Now, the reason why I say this is I don't live nearby. I was about an hour and 45 minute ride. Now, if I was just driving out to do that and then go home, I would have been upset. You know, it's too short for the drive. But... For those that live locally, or maybe you're going to go hit up on a graveyard or something else in the area, it's definitely a nice combo thing to do. Or if you just got a quick time, you're not driving far, uh, it's definitely an awesome. It's definitely awesome to go to, regardless. If you're into driving two hours away for a short experience and you want to be entertained, by all means, that's good. Myself, regardless of how good it is, I want it to be more than 15, 20 minutes. I hate drive. That's why, like, I always try to make sure that there's other haunts available nearby because <coughs> I want to spend more time out experiencing things than I did to drive. And I did that because I went to Lake Compounds afterwards. And uh, so I had the one-two punch and had a great night. I mean, like I said, the only negative thing that I got to say about Evidence of Evil was it's too short. That's it. Other than that, Everything that they did in there, theming was really good. Uh, what they made you do was really good. Uh, the effort the actors put in to get you immersed into the environment was really good. Uh, so I'm going to give it a four out of five, just because it wasn't it wasn't long enough for the like I said for the for the length I had to drive. Now somebody that lives nearby goes, that's you know you had a nice experience. You're going to go out to dinner. You're going to chill a while, whatever. You had a great experience. Me, I try to always, no matter where I go, try to hit two or three haunts a night if I can, if I can fit it in. I want to make sure, like I said, I want to make sure my experience 
Um, for, you know, I get what I got for it. And I forgot how much I paid, maybe 20 bucks. And it came with a $5 arcade card, which was awesome because I got to play some games while I was waiting for my turn. It was great. People were great. Actors were great. Everything was great. Like I said, it was just too short. I wish it was longer. I'm sure that he's constrained on how much he can use to build his heart. So that's probably his only restriction. And uh, for what he has and what he did, he did phenomenal. So, uh, like I said, I give it a four or five. I definitely recommend it. So hopefully you check it out. And if you do go, tell him Hornapool is a podcast sent you. So until next time, everybody, peace out, y'all.